In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to disable the ink pad or the touch keyboard and handwriting prompt service inside of Windows 11. Now, previously I covered this inside of Windows 10. However, I feel like I need to cover it inside of Windows 11 because some things have changed. And if you're not familiar with this, basically if you have a writing or a drawing tablet plugged into your computer and you go to type inside of a text document, it's going to come up with this kind of a window and it's basically prompting you to just write in whatever you want and it gets fairly annoying especially if you're using this kind of like a mouse because you have this box just just keeps popping up in front of you well how do you disable this well windows actually has this thing tucked away someplace kind of hidden first off if you want to end the current process of it but you don't want to completely disable the program on the machine then you'll need to go into the task manager how you go into the task manager is you go down to the start menu or the magnifying glass right here the search icon and then you type in task manager inside the task manager you're going to want to align the name a couple times that way it get sorted in alphabetical order and you want to go down to touch keyboard and handwriting panel if you disable this and go ahead and end the process or end task it will disable it for the current running version of Windows now whenever you restart your computer it's going to reinitiate this so it's not really getting rid of the program as much as it's just ending it for the current process so let's go ahead and end it and if we open this back up then you can see that I can click with my drawing tablet and the prompt doesn't come up if you want to permanently disable this, you are going to want to do two separate things. First off, let's go back into the task manager and we want to go over to services. Now in services, we want to scroll all the way down to the T's for, let's see, where is that? It is Let's organize this by description because the description is actually the name of it. There it is, it is Tablet Input Services. So touch keyboard and handwriting panel. So this also has a separate name inside of Windows 11. You will want to go in here, right click on that, and then you can either stop it immediately or you can go to Open Services, that's it. Inside of the Open Services panel, you can then scroll down to the tablet input services again touch keyboard and handwriting panel services that's what it's called in this window now you can see that the startup type is called automatic triggered upon start we can right click on that go to properties and we can change that to disabled so this will automatically disable it inside of windows and then we can hit apply and now it will not run upon opening now depending on your version of windows 11 you if you upgraded from windows 10 and you had the same files you might have the issue of it being in the ms config files as well so to double check that go into your start menu again or your search bar type in ms config and that will bring up the system configuration you will then want to go into services and sort this by name you will want to go down to the t's again and you're going to want to look for touch keyboard and handwriting panel so the same thing that we disabled over here now this will only be available if you've upgraded from windows 10 into windows 11 and you kept your same files and everything on there you just upgraded the operating system if you have a brand new version of windows 11 which i have this will not be on there so you won't need to do this extra step but as of right now whenever you have that disabled then there will be no traces of the application on the startup from now on so at this point you can go ahead hit ok close out of everything and restart your computer if you want now if you ever want to open this program back up you can either go in in reverse order and 
enable everything the way it was or you can simply go to this link right here and that is the program for the Inkscape so if we open this up we can just paste that link directly in here hit enter and it will start running it again so now all I have to do is just click over here and it's back up okay thank you all very much I hope this was helpful if it was go ahead give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and until next time have a great rest of your day Hi, I'm Kyle, owner and operator of Great Technical. Thank you all so much for making it at this point in the video. And if you are here, go ahead, like, and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot, and it lets me know that the content I'm making is stuff that you all like to see. Go ahead, leave us a comment as well. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in the future, or if you have any future updates that you would like to have included in our products in the future. I would also like to say that being a company owner I am very proud to be able to support businesses and students I am also extremely proud to be able to support content creators so if you have a content platform you make videos or if you have a blog and you would like to reuse some of our content or if you would like to review some of our products go ahead and send me an email my email is right here support at great technical Dot com. Get in contact with me. We can see what we can get worked out. And until next time, thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day.